many of you have ever sat out under the full moon on a beautiful, cool, crisp night and just let the rays hit you? How does it feel? Feels quite magical, doesn't it? Fact, let's get a little magic going here. So I'm going to tell you the story why it is you only get to do that one, maybe two nights a month. Sit out under the moon. Would you like to hear the real reason why the moon keeps changing shape? Yes. 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 Beautiful. Good. And you're ready to help me tell the story, yeah? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So, without further ado, I'm going to take you back to the beginning of time. So this is back to when the world was young. And there weren't very many people around. And the few people were there were really boring. <laughs> so, at the beginning of time, the moon was always there. It was always full. It was always shining bright. So what happens to people when the full moon comes out? They go crazy. What? <laughs> they get all crazy. Yes, they do! So people started to get all crazy because the full moon was out all the time. And when they get crazy, they can also get a wee bit mischievous. They like to get into all sorts of shenanigans. You know, half of the things that we come up with in Irish culture happen at the full moon, just let me tell you that. So that being said, there was one creature at the beginning of time who was known to be the king of mischief. The trickster! And he felt a wee bit miffed. But people were mischievous all the time. They took his title from him. How could he be the mischievous one and the king of mischief if everybody was acting the same way? And acting just as crazy as he was. So he came up with a plot. He thought long and hard about it. He said, you know, I bet I can find a monster who would be willing to steal the moon from me. And if he stole the moon and kept it hidden, what would happen to all the people? What's that? They'd be normal. Well, you take that back, sir. There's nobody normal in this story. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yes, they'd be Gilbar to be in boring. Just like I told you they were at the beginning of time. So, he walked through the land. <laughs> Keep walking back and forth, Mr. Mischief. He walked long and far. He walked for many years. Until he found a monster that would steal the moon. And had him steal the moon away. And as soon as he did that, he got extremely happy. He started skipping and dancing everywhere he went. Because he was truly the king of mischief. Until one day, he came across a hut in the woods. With three witches inside. Three witches? Three witches. Three witches. I want to introduce you to the witches. This is Muni. This is Helgi. And this is Vini. So the three witches asked him to come in and he skipped happily into the house, figuring there must be mischief to be made here. And immediately scolded him. And told him, you have to put the moon back. You can't keep it. It needs to be up in the sky. The problem is, now the witches, first off, how many of you have ever met a witch? Yeah. That works too. How many of you have ever been under the witch's curse? They're not fun, are they? No. So all three witches got together and got really close to their witchy table and they all started casting spells and chants on him. Until, until he put the moon back. He could do nothing else with his life. No more mischief, no more shenanigans until the moon was back. So he walked away from the witch's hut very, very sad. You can go away, witches. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> and he was somber for many, many years. The chickster walked through the land. Oh, please. So Thank you. He walks through the land 
because he didn't know where the monster had put the moon, so he couldn't trick him into cutting it back. He decided he needed to find a hero. Somebody who would be able to get the moon back no matter what the monster did. And he thought, and he watched as people grew and became families. And more and more people feel the beautiful Emerald Isle. And he waited for many years until he found one specific hero he thought was just smart enough and strong enough and cunning enough and gullible enough to go on this quest. So, who amongst you is our hero? Oh, well. <laughs> You're gonna be the hero. Yeah, I'll be the hero. Alright. So the trickster found the hero who was very happy to go on this quest. Yeah. So oh. do it. All of you witches out there. Are witches very patient people? No. I'm not. Well she's not. <laughs> what about you, boss? Are you patient <laughs> witch or not? <laughs> well, well, she's a witch with a cunt, that's what she is. He's talking to eaters. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Just connected. Just connected. I'm patient. Am I patient, April? Am I patient? No. Absolutely not. Most witches are. Well, the three witches who've been waiting for years for him to put the moon back decided to go to sleep for a long time. Oh. And they said, well, it's a chance. We're gonna go to sleep until he gets the moon back in place, and then he can wake us up to remove the curse. So now they're in a wee bit of a pickle, and you guys all have to help them. They've got to find a way to wake the witches. Mm. They've got to find a way to get the moon back from the monster who stole it. And not only that, the witches all the a guard. You're gonna meet them in just a minute. Not included. Nice. <laughs> you said nothing about gardening. <laughs> well, the witches called a guardian to guard the moon once it was back and they put it back in place once they found it again. So you have the guardian who protects the moon and the monster who stole the moon. And they're gonna to have to deal with both. So first, Throughout the years of his travel, the tricksters collected many magic objects that he kept in his house. Out of all these magic objects, you've got three witches to wake. I'm waking up. I'm not sure what you're talking about over there, sir. Which is oregano? That one. <laughs> the weed. Yeah. Um, you can come try it if you want, but. <laughs> From what I understand, where we are, if it is, you're in trouble with me. <laughs> so, it's a magic herb. You've got three witches. Do you remember their names? Mooney, Brody, Hergie, and Beanie. So, you know what those mean, right? No. Mooney, Beanie, what? Mooney, Hergie, Beanie. Mooney, Helgi, Beanie. You're messing me all up. It's not Nooney. <laughs> Mooney. Mooney. Oh. Helgi. Helgi. Okay, we're going to do this all together now, right, T? You were from Utah. Mooney. 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 Helgi. 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 Beanie. Beanie. Perfect. Now, what do they mean? I've never heard of a planet name. Moon is in charge. Sun, moon, stars? Same one you did, I guess. What's that? Sun, moon, and stars? No. Not at all. I want to tell you, if you go back way before even the Celts and the Druids, there's an even older language. The language of runes. The language that the Norsemen took as their own, long before the Celts walked upon the land. And those of you that know, would you please stop playing with the magic items? <laughs> You're about to curse the entire audience. Oh yeah. Shenanigans, we don't even have the moon back yet. But I didn't mean to. <laughs> so, if you go back into ancient Norse tradition, Odin, the old father, had two ravens. Do you remember their names? 
Wolves. Thugin and Moonin. Thugin and Moonin for fault and memory. Moonin is the ancient runic name for memory. Hey is the ancient runic name for fault. And Vini is the ancient runic name for imagination. So which of all these magic items do you think would wait? You're welcome to come up, please. Look at the trolls. Tell the hero which item she must take in order to the witches. Tag me in. Tag me in. Well, he is. Imagination. Moody is memory. Of memory. <laughs> <laughs> now you realize if you touch the wrong thing, you're cursed for everything. I have a protection shot with the These are all the magic items that tricksters collected throughout the years. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is not the violent audience we have last year. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Sorry. Skip her and scab everyone. I already say the broom for spots. Wait, what's about for memory? That's what you're looking at right now. Memory, memory, that's right. Memory. Memory. Memory be your memory. 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 Can you use smell yeah. or sound? You may use whatever you want. Magic comes in many forms, you know. Now what? Well, Look at him. now that he, she chose a magic item, Sit down for a second. <laughs> the trickster escorted her very carefully to the cabin of the witches and stopped right before the entrance. 